Julie I have been hearing a weak signal coming from the edge of the solar system. I would say that it is a ship. Can you tell what kind of ship it is? I can only tell that it is a ship near the edge of the solar system. It appears to be moving slowly. Well keep an eye on it and if it starts coming our way then maybe we will go take a look. Commander's log things are calm on the station for the time being. The captain is down on the surface looking over some ruins, trying to find more information on the Zorkons. All are exhausted by the addition of a new planet to the solar system and sleep is on the menu. Gina what do you make of what we are seeing? What do you believe these things would be used for? I wonder if these might have some religious significance. Maybe we could ask Zeely sometime. What do you make of the pipe? Maybe a water supply? That would be most likely. Hello look at that mat. We have company. Oh my I think I died and went to heaven. Who are you? Earth people. I am Angel Celestra. You are violating an ancient burial ground. It will bring you bad luck. Your people will begin to have bad visions. Is this some kind of a threat? We don't take kindly to those. What is it you want? Angels never threaten anyone. I am here to propose a solution. One of you must join me, a willing sacrifice to the angelic realms. Then the others will be free. What will you do if we don't? It still sounds like a threat to me. Your own fears will persuade you. I will do nothing. How do we get in touch with you? You came from out of nowhere. Just call my name. I am an angel. Matt I was monitoring you and there was a small spike in electromagnetic readings. Nothing I could identify. Okay Sally thanks. That may be useful. Go ahead and stretch your legs because we are headed back shortly. Well Julie what do you think? Does that angel sound for real? Matt if Sally was not there I might have thought you were space happy. So I am guessing that you don't take her warning or threat seriously. No I don't, but I would say that we should be on heightened security for a time. I agree completely. We will put out the word that all hands are to be extra vigilant and make sidearms fast and easy to get. She was beautiful but I don't believe the angel story. There were readings of a distant ship taken while you were gone. They may be related. What information do you have on that? Nothing other than it was a slow-moving ship at the edge of the solar system. 
There was some communications traffic and Missy and I suspect that it may have been some official ship. Okay Julie keep monitoring. Angels do not come from out of nowhere. by werewolves. It is time for your shift as soon as you get your head together. By the way, what is a werewolf? It is an ancient earth legend about a person who becomes a wolf. I am okay. Thanks Jill.
terrifying dream. I was surrounded by fire and some sort of fire creature had me cornered. It was just a dream. Come on up to the leisure saucer and I will help you for a while. Derek had a really bad dream too. I wonder if something is happening. I do not fear you. You are a dream. You will answer my questions. Understand. Have you been sent? Are you a spirit? We must find a way to speak. I need to know what you know. I feel great sorrow in you as if you are being exploited. I wish you would not go. I feel you need healing. Jake you had a bad dream didn't you? Wake up. I do not fear such dreams. I am Lakota. Your shirt is soaked with sweat. You were scared. One more of these dreams and I will talk with Matt about them. Heather what is going on? What are you doing on that thing? Help me I am stuck and there will be a spider around to eat me.
Heather what is the problem that you had? You said you both had the same dream. Matt we both were in the same dream together and it was terrible. Each of us got stuck in spider webs and were menaced by giant spiders. It does sound frightening but it was harmless. Everyone has bad dreams from time to time. Matt there have been other dreams like ours. Derek dreamt he was being chased by werewolves. Sally dreamt of being in a fire and being cornered by some kind of fire thing. And Jake confronted a Wendigo. What can I do about this? Our training does not include dream therapy. We need to look for the cause. If these dreams keep up none of us will be able to sleep. For now I will order all personnel to report bad or strange dreams to me. That will be all. You again. How did you get in here anyway? I told you about the curse. I am an angel. These artificial walls mean nothing to me. Tell me, how are your people sleeping? They are sleeping just fine. I am laughing at your so-called curse. I am glad that your people are sleeping all right. I will be around if you change your mind about my offer. Well this is the life. No station, no Mars, no responsibilities. It's wonderful. I wish we could stay here forever.
Julie, Julie, where are you? Are you okay, Julie? Julie Wake up Are you okay? It's a Zorkin. We have been bored. Missy grab a weapon. Okay Freak we are going to have a talk about your removing the device from our planet. Are you out of your mind? Missy you are betraying what is left of us. What is going on here? The Zorkons have promised us a nice planet to live on. Everything will be good. We can start a new civilization. Missy they are lying to you. They already exterminated most of the human race. Now I don't want to fight you. I am afraid you will have to wait outside my love while we settle our differences. Well the Martian girl too. How lovely. Well I may as well take the high ground.
Matt, you are dreaming. Wake up. Thanks, Missy. I had one of the dreams too. I see what everyone has been going through. Maybe we should take the angel up on her offer. These dreams are tearing us apart. Matt, every one of these dreams has been about a person's secret fears. Personally, I don't believe in curses.
okay enough of the running. This is my dream and you were not invited. I am only scared if I let you scare me. I don't know who you are but I am not tolerating this. Go ahead and bite me if that is what you want. You are a beautiful child and you have shown me courage. Most of the others ran away while you stood your ground. You have faced your fears. Well done, child. Oracle on. Take all the times that I input under data Gina 1 and report the relative distances of moons Phobos and Deimos. Each time corresponds to a close pass within 100 miles of the moon Deimos and Mars station. Are there any indications of an interaction between the moon Deimos and the station? Negative. It does appear however to be a correlation between the station and the moon during the times. It would be reasonable to assume that psychotronic energy directed from DMOs may be responsible for the dream patterns. The station and the ship are not equipped to detect this. Could the same energy create a visible illusion in our conscious state that we could use to communicate with someone? It is possible in theory, though Earth science has not advanced that far. Oracle off. I need to talk with Matt. Gina great work. I believe we have found the source of our troubles. I am going to try to trap an angel. I need a volunteer. Matt I volunteer. Let me go. I know it is dangerous. Give me what I need. You will not be able to take weapons Heather because they will detect them. Give me a transponder to activate and I will get something from Sally. I can do this. That's my brave sister. We need to run one check on our angel just to be sure. Well Captain have you decided to take me up on my offer? Yes I have. My sister Heather will be joining you shortly. She just needs a little time to prepare. Can you come back in about 15 minutes? That is great. The curse will be lifted. She will find happiness in the angelic realms, I assure you. Matt how can you? Your own sister. I hate you. <laughs> Julie you could have gone into acting. What did you find? There was no one there, just like we thought. We will have to time this right. Okay I am ready. Heather please come here. It is time to go. Goodbye Matt. I don't know how you could betray me like this. <laughs> Who are you? I see they have fooled another species into giving up one of their own, again. We will do introductions later. How many are there and what do they want? They use terrifying visions to trick sentient beings like yourself, and then you will be put in a cage on public display. These are two young women who might have done well if they had stuck to mining. Except they picked on the wrong group this time. I am going to send a message to our ship, and once I do, one of them will be in here. Then we are going to have fun. What do you mean by that? Shove her right at me. I am going to clip her wings. Matt I don't understand something. Why not just use a frontal assault? It would be safer and there would be much less risk. Julie we are letting know they have the power of illusion. I needed someone on the inside just to be sure. And I figured there was very few of them. Heather can take care of herself, and I would not want to spoil her fun. What do you mean by fun? This could be dangerous. In Heather's nightmare she was stuck in a spider web, and a spider came along. She hates spiders and she was angry. Normally she is a playful and friendly girl, but never get her mad. She can handle a couple of women, and that is what I believe we have there. That is our cue. Tactical, 
Charge the guns. Set course to intercept. Battle stations. Remind me never to anger Earth people. I would like to meet with your people before I go back to my own dimension. I am Oster. I was tricked into leaving my dimension much the same way you Earth people were tricked, though I know you were not fooled for long. I just wanted to thank you for freeing me, and apologize for the discomfort I caused. We do not hold you responsible for that. My name is Captain Matt Stone and we represent what is left of human civilization. We are privileged to meet someone from a different dimension, proving some of our scientific theories from long ago. What will become of the two who did this and forced me to help them? A police cruiser that we have been tracking will pick them up, and the freighter which they probably stole too. Before I go, can I please speak with someone named Jake and another named Missy? You don't look quite as fierce now. How did you do it? You knew what I was, and Missy here stood up to me. Oster, I belong to a tribe of people who before the Holocaust were very spiritually oriented. I could feel your soul was in pain. While I am dedicated to science, I have not forgotten the old ways. As for Missy, she does not like anyone interrupting her sleep. Well goodbye my friends. Perhaps we will meet again someday. I will contact you in your dreams if I need to. Matt something really bothers me about Oster. With a power like that he should have been able to overpower the two women and call for help. I understand your concerns Julie. It is very suspicious. I cannot imagine two young women, very attractive ones at that, flying around the universe in a stolen or freighter. It just does not add up. Do you think we will encounter Oster again? I think we can count on it. We are dealing with a higher intellect, and if he is evil, a very dangerous one. For now I think we should take this at face value, but sleep with one eye open.